uh, today we are going to have this interview session um, and I'm glad that you can come John um, let's go and see we are looking for some QA testers uh, for our team that we are just uh, the project is currently in progress so I would like to know a little bit more about what you have done and uh, what your interests are can you just let me know hi good afternoon uh, thank you for uh, accepting my resume for interview uh, this is John and uh, I have good experience with uh, one of the telecom company I worked in uh, telecom uh, billing application where uh, end users can log into the online application and they can pay the bills online uh, basically this application is involving in uh, more into a customer can log into the application uh, look into the bills view the bills and make the bills payments and when the user make the uh, payment they can select multiple options like uh, they can pay by credit card or a check or different other options the user also can make the payment by scheduling the payment uh, depends on the payment schedules they can make the partial payment or they can pay the full payment so as a tester I involved in complete uh, testing life cycle right from the beginning like uh, reviewing the requirement documents like user stories attending daily stand-up meetings and also developed uh, test cases and test plans and prepared the test data by executing SQL queries and I also executed uh, test cases uh, all developed by different team members so we involved in uh, different testing uh, methodologies like agile uh, environment right from the beginning like I worked with the development team to understand the different requirements and when we have a uh, problems with the uh, application we worked with the team to resolve the issues I also involved in uh, testing the web services some of the ETL process to validate the reports so that is about myself sounds good uh, so your project is basically um, billing online billing payment and uh, what are the different um, you have said you have used user stories and daily meetings that means what are the different methodologies you have used in this project and were there a couple of different projects with different methodologies yeah, basically uh, the, the project I worked is uh, a recent project is with uh, agile development methodology so uh, in this agile methodology basically we have a two weeks sprint plans but a, uh, once the sprint plan is uh, finalized the user user stories are finalized uh, we have a daily stand-up meetings to work with our team every day in the morning we have a conference call with the offshore team and the on-site team we review what was happened before uh, yesterday and uh, what are the uh, status of each user story and how many points are uh, we achieved for each user story so for example for this print plan we have like uh, 60 points uh, to achieve let's say we have like five stories and uh, 60 points so least, uh, one story has five points one story has eight points like that so uh, we have like total 60 points to achieve then um, in the initial stage the development uh, team is developed the application uh, develop the user stories and it deploys to our in, uh, testing environment once the testing is uh, passed so we complete that particular points let's say user story one uh, online bill payment with the credit card that is the story one so if the story is uh, developed by developers and it, it uh, comes to our QA team we test that and if the pa if it is passed then uh, we reach like in you know, let's say uh, we have eight points for this story so we re uh, we completed the eight points out of 60 points so that is one of these agile methodology we worked in this current project and previous project i was in a waterfall methodology where all the uh, business requirements are implemented once the complete application is developed the features are implemented it is uh, the code is deployed to QA environment we tested the all the requirements then uh, after we test the requirement if you have any problems and we test with we work with the developers 
then developer fix the problem and then we will retest the problem defect so in the waterfall methodology is a little bit different because uh, a whole up, whole entire release is developed at what time one time and uh, we will test it in a, a different time like let's say three months application is developed and three months we are testing and uh, one month is for deployment and everything when the production but in the agile methodology it's not like that every two weeks we have a, a user stories are implemented it's like a, a divided into parts let's say we have like complete billing application we have like a, a 50 user stories uh, first two weeks uh, first uh, sprint uh, uh, sprint plan one we deployed uh, two or uh, like 10 user stories uh, next two weeks we have like another 10 or uh, another 10 user stories like that it will be divided by parts in agile environment but in waterfall in my previous project all complete all the 50 requirements are developed at uh, and uh, deployed to our QA environment in waterfall Sounds good. Uh, so you are familiar with both waterfall and agile, and uh, so uh, the difference what I'm hearing from you is waterfall is a step by step process from the starting to the ending. Where in agile we are going to divide the whole functionalities into sets of user stories and sprints, and then we are working on them. So uh, you said we have um, used user stories and their points. Who decides on the points, and did you get to give the points and uh, how far were you successful in most of the sprints in completing your work? Yeah, basically, we have a uh, team of members like business analyst and a scrum master. Uh, basically, initially when the uh, user stories are defined, uh, work with the actual client and user, they decide uh, the business analyst and scrum master and architects, they will decide how many points has to be for each user story. Can you ex uh, repeat that question again? How far were you successful in completing the sprints? Like for example, before starting a sprint, you said we divide the user stories and we take few user stories per sprint and try to achieve it. So were you able to complete them or was the team able to finish them? Yeah, basically, uh, not all the time we are able to finish uh, the deadlines. For example, uh, in my previous uh, sprint plan we have like 12 user stories we have two weeks time to finish it but uh, we were able to even development itself uh, they could not able to finish 12 they completed actually 12 stories uh, sorry uh, 10 stories they finished out of 12 and we still have two stories are pending for the previous sprint plan but uh, as per the client requirement and the actual deadlines we have to start the next sprint plan uh, which has another eight stories so we started the uh, next sprint plan immediately but simultaneously we were also working on the previous plan uh, which we pending for two stories so sometimes we had to work a little bit uh, extra time or weekends to complete the stories but it's still you know we have still pending sometimes the team might be not be available due to some other schedule conflicts so we have to uh, continue the current sprint plan stories as well as we work on the previous uh, pending uh, stories in the current schedule I like the idea like uh, what you have said is we are going to work on the previous stories along with what we have to do right now which we are taking up because all about uh, agile methodology is trying to make the team self-sufficient and self-organized and do their work so I think that comes through that mm -hmm. so what we can say is agile is an incremental um, deployment of the user stories to the business which is very good can you tell me um, you said it is uh, your application latest one is online application where the payments and all that are done so is there any web services that you're familiar with you have worked on and if so what is the tool you have used yeah, basically yes we do have a middleware technology web services uh, which is developed in Java technology Java uh, Java based web services uh, for example, uh, when the customer make the payment, uh, they select uh, uh, schedule a payment and um, the service call, let's say the service called make payment is a one of the web service call. As an end user, if you use the web uh, on the front end, you select the click on make payment and you select the uh, payment options 
and uh, select the schedule and uh, provide the information and click make payment that is how you do uh, as in, uh, on the uh, on the GUI but when you send the request on the front end let's say front end is developed in some uh, different technology and back end is in different technology let's say C or C++ something so to communicate between two different platforms so the application is developed uh, there is a middleware technology which is called web services so I tested the web services make sure the application is working uh, well because what happens is on the end user let's say as an end user you are going to the uh, front end uh, a browser internet explorer on the desktop and you are making the payment but some other user going to the mobile application and making the payment so somebody using Android uh, Android app to make the payment somebody using iPhone app to make the payment but the problem here is like the back-end application is same but front-end you are using different uh, 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 interfaces like mobile application or, uh, or desktop applications desktop browsers so that is why there is a web, web services are implemented in the middleware to take the request from any interface from the front end in XML format and send the uh, request to the back end get the response and send it back to the front end in XML format so that is where the web services came into the picture so basically I validated these web services using SOAPI tool to just like if you are making the payment on the front end I am using there is something service called make payment is a service web service call which is a SOAP call so I use a SOAP uh, tool to give the input using XML format and send the request to the back end and the, using SOAPI tool I, I get the response in XML format the XML uh, response I validated in the SOAPI tool so when I using uh, validating the response in the response XML basically I use, uh, use different uh, uh, conditions like checkpoints like assertions to validate whether the uh, make payment is uh, processed or not when we make the payment the payment is successful and the response XML says that so your payment is successful the process uh, the transaction ID is 1234 so I make sure the transaction uh, ID is uh, responded and I also compare this response with the database make sure the response uh, the transaction ID received on the web services is matching with the data in the database sounds like an end-to-end -end testing right with the web services it um, yeah sounds very good so what kind of um, challenges are like or the defects that have come up during this web services testing can you just give me um, one high priority or one high severity defects that you have come across and did the um, team agree with it and how did you resolve it? Uh, basically when we are testing the application we always have a lot of issues like environment issues especially. So um, the application is deployed to our QA environment but there are some batch jobs executed on the back end. Uh, for example uh, when we schedule a payment let's say I, may, I want to make the payment on a particular day and time uh, March 21st uh, 2014 at uh, 12 p.m. because at that time only I will get my money on my credit card or my bank account that's why I schedule the payment on particular date but the problem here is on my uh, front end uh, my system date is Eastern time zone on the back end is uh, uh, central time zone or a different time zone is scheduled the time zone is not matching with the time I scheduled uh, uh, my payment on the front end so when I schedule the payment uh, it's supposed to execute let's say I schedule the payment at uh, uh, 8 p.m. EST on March 21st but uh, when it is executed on the back end it is executing at uh, uh, 10 p.m. EST because that was uh, on the back end on the Unix server the time zone was mentioned on mountain time zone which is like two hours behind the EST, EST. so that's why it is not executing as per my schedule so that is a configuration issue we have but we cannot argue with the developer the developer is saying that you know it is executing as per uh, as per it is scheduled on my system because on their development environment uh, all the things are configured uh, properly their uh, time zone on the front end on the back end and middleware wherever all the servers the time zone is properly configured but on the QA environment the time uh, system times are not configured properly 
So that is why we are failing this uh, failing in QA environment. So that is the reason the developers are not agreeing with the actual uh, issue what I am uh, talking. So then we worked with the configuration team and we found that this is the issue with uh, 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 system uh, date and time. Because the one of the reason uh, I could not able to find the system date is we don't have access to the particular uh, billing servers. Then uh, we worked with configuration team and uh, uh, we we found the actual issue. We also researched the log files in the back end. We found that you know the timestamp on the log file is uh, different and the timestamp on the front end where I am submitting the schedule is different. So we finally found the issue and resolved it. But uh, it's basically it's not a, a developer point of view it's not a problem but uh, they they feel a little bit uncomfortable because we keep on talking to them and we are telling that you know, we we exchange like you know five six emails but they are not agreeing with uh, this issue but finally we found that this is a configuration issue so these kind of problems we face uh, we also found different kind of uh, um, uh, high C high severity and high priority problems like uh, uh, when we submit the credit card uh, uh, credit card payment basically we give the uh, correct date expiration date is like future date because as per the expiration date credit card expiration date should be future date or current date it should not be a previous date but system is accepting previous date also but it should fail in the front end itself uh, because the customer may be using the uh, gold card they can make the payment by mistake but the system should not uh, allow in the fr uh, front end itself but it is failing after we schedule the payment after uh, two uh, after uh, uh, after two days after two days three days when we schedule the payment but the problem here is uh, we schedule the payment as per the payment date but it, it should f uh, i give the wrong credit card information so if I give the wrong credit card information, it should fail immediately. But it is failing when the payment is processed. Uh, the problem here, ha what happened is, the payment, if the payment is made and uh, if the payment is failed, as per the condition, let's say if the payment is made on 26th day of the month, and uh, if it is a delay, if the payment is not, if it is failed, and if the customer failed to make the payment, there is a late payment uh, has to be applied. Uh, but the problem is, of course, the uh, customer gave the wrong credit card information, but it, the system should fail upfront, not uh, at the uh, last minute when the pro payment is processed. So the customer is uh, feel, felt that uh, the credit card is uh, payment is went through and everything is fine. But on the when they executed, the payment is failed, and uh, the late fee was charged to the customer so customer was got mad that you know uh, this payment is uh, when i pay, made the payment the, i got the transaction id successful id but uh, when the payment is processed uh, it says you know payment is failed because of the credit card information and the uh, late fee was charged so it should be informed before not at the uh, payment was processed uh, when the billing was processed so customer was uh, asking for the uh, refunds or the late late payment late fees was uh, charged they are asking for the refunds so this is a kind of a production issue uh, which was uh, found in the production but this kind of scenarios we didn't find in the development later this kind of scenarios we detected detected in the uh, in the testing phase also uh, similar kind of scenarios and we worked the development team to resolve it sounds good uh, yeah I think that nowadays we have to be very careful like with the dates and all and the message if it's coming up on time um, this sounds very good um, and we just talked about one of your uh, projects and um, what I'm thinking is let me uh, just go over uh, your resume and look at the other projects and we'll come back to you and um, thank you for your time today and uh, let's take a break and come back to it thank you yeah thank you so much <laughs>